Hi there. Welcome to MCSI. My name is Erica. In this video, I will demonstrate how you can use the Bing search engine for open source intelligence. If you want an introduction about how search engines can be used for OSINT, I invite you to watch another video on our channel. You can find the link to it in the description box below. Now, I will demonstrate how you can enhance your search results using Bing's search keywords. To view all the web pages only from one specific website, the site filter can be used. We will view all web pages from Microsoft.com. There are a large number of results. Now let's search for web pages that only have the word Docker in its title. For this, we will use the Entitle filter. We can see web pages containing information about Docker and Kubernetes. To eliminate the search results containing information about Kubernetes, we will utilize the not operator, which is represented by the minus sign. We can improve the search query to eliminate web pages that contain Kubernetes in the title. In the results, we can see that only web pages with Docker in the title have been identified. Instead of the minus sign, we can also use the not operator. But this time, we will specify the not operator and in title keyword within brackets. Now, we can view only web pages containing Docker in the title. Likewise, there are keywords to filter web pages based on words or phrases in the URL or in the web page body. I encourage you to try it out. Now, let's view only specific file types from Microsoft's website using the file type filter. We can search for a specific file type using its extension. First, let's search for all Word documents. Then we can search for all the Excel sheets. Now we will search for all PDF documents containing the phrase Azure Cloud. This query pulls up PDF documents that contain the words Azure and Cloud anywhere in it. If we want to search for documents where the two words Azure and Cloud appear consecutively, then the words must be enclosed in quotes. Let's search for PDF documents containing the phrase Azure Cloud and the phrase Active Directory. We can find documents specific to Microsoft's cloud service. Let's search for PDF documents that contain either of the two phrases. We can find more results. Documents containing information about the use of Active Directory on-premises are also identified. We can also search for web pages specific to a country or region using the location keyword. To specify a country, we will specify its code. We can find the list of countries and their codes in Microsoft's website. We will filter for all web pages from Canada. Notice the URL of the web pages identified. French is one of Canada's official languages. Let's filter for web pages in French using the language filter. There we go. This feature is very useful when you are investigating foreign targets. Now let's search for all tutorials on Microsoft's website on Azure Pipelines. We can view only the recent tutorials by using the date filter. You can also provide a custom date range. The contains keyword is used to identify web pages that have links to a specific file type. 
Let's say we are currently researching about Agent Tesla malware. We only want to display results that contain links to relevant zip files. We will utilize the contains keyword and specify the zip extension. Here, we can see that this web page contains a link to zip files containing Agent Testa malware samples. The InStreamSit keyword helps perform a combined search. Say you want to identify web pages that contain a specific keyword in the title and URL, then InStreamSit can be used. Let's search for web pages containing information about the Murai botnet malware. This search string will only display results that contains the word Murai in the website title and URL. The define keyword can be used to quickly find the meaning of complex words. It functions like a dictionary feature. Now, I will use this keyword to find the meaning of the word obfuscation. You can also observe results from various dictionary websites. The feed keyword can be used to search only for RSS feeds. Let's look only for feeds about cloud security. Now, we will utilize the prefer keyword to only focus on results that talk about containers. We can see fewer results now. I hope you enjoyed learning about how Bing can be used efficiently for open source intelligence. I'm sure you would have used other search engines like Google at some point. We have another video on our channel where we demonstrate how the advanced features of Google can be used for OSINT. Knowing how to efficiently use multiple search engines is an important skill for an open source intelligence professional. If you like this video, please hit like and share this video on social media. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to receive more videos like this one. Join our online community of students learning useful cybersecurity skills if you haven't already. To register for a free account right away, go to our website. Happy learning and see you soon.